Hey there, Sharon horn from here, Pajama Grandma, of course. Mixing it up a little bit today in my What's She Up To Now and actually in everything I'm doing today. I slept in this morning. I actually stayed in bed until 6.30. Then I got up, I took a nice bubble bath, washed my hair, letting it air dry because of the weather, and just now getting around to making my videos and been on a couple of calls. So I'm mixing my whole day up, which is really, 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 really unusual for me because pretty much every day... I get up first thing in the morning, 4 o'clock, plug in my curlers, brush my teeth, get cleaned up, do my videos, um, and then I have a whole routine, a whole morning routine that I follow. And so it's really unusual for me to deviate from that routine at all. But today I wanted to take a nice bubble bath and, and it's so cold here. I wanted to just kind of ease into my day and give myself a rest. And then as I'm thinking about my morning content production, I normally do my supersize your business or my supersize business video before this, but I'm like, I don't know what I want to talk about yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to mix it up even more and I'm going to mix up the order of how I create my content. So I'm doing this video first and I'll probably do my 365 day challenge group video next. And then I'll go back and do my supersize business video because I, I'm paying a little more attention to that particular video when I do it every day, because that is my main thing. And so I want to make sure that I'm doing what I should be doing to create interest and content in that particular subject matter. And then the other videos I do, like this one, this is just documenting what I'm doing so that I can go back and look and learn from the mistakes I've made and from the things that I've done that were really successful and good. And I can share those with other people. I can also share the mistakes I've made so that other people don't have to make the same mistakes. And, you know, we all make a lot of them, but it's really nice if we could find somebody that we can shortcut a whole bunch of mistakes and just create our own and make our own because it helps us to learn and grow and create and do and be and have what we want a whole lot faster. So working on the Women's Summit, got a couple interviews today and I'm sure a couple interviews tomorrow and probably a couple of interviews Monday because I'm saving them all to the very last minute. <laughs> I need to finish the funnel and it's just going to have some empty pictures in it today because I don't have the interviews done for some women so I'll plug them into the funnel as I get them and that's just going to have to be okay it just it is what it is it's a work in progress it's a new project it's learning and it's kind of actually fun because you've got some mystery women and some mystery ladies so you're not sure exactly who they're going to be or when they're going to be in the lineup I think that's kind of fun and I think that's fine to do in the just the layout of the website or the funnel so I'm gonna work some more on that today work on some copy I, I haven't really done the copy for introducing and the segment each of the segments and um, then a call to action following each of the segments I haven't done that yet I have to write those over the weekend I also should and will write my daily introduction and my daily, my, my beginning, and it'll probably just be a beginning of the day because I'm going to set it up so that people can listen to them whenever they want. It doesn't have to be a specifically timed thing. I know there's some power in that, but I think for this one, I'm going to do, um, do it similar to the way I've seen several other um, summits do it where, hey, these are all the speakers for day one, and then I just release the whole thing at once. They're not released at a certain time. And I'll experiment with that. Maybe I'll find out that the results are better if you do release it at certain times and I'll do that for the next one or something. We'll play with the process and figure out the process because part of the project is learning and understanding the process and the components and the systems and everything that has to go in place and be put in place to pull off a project like this, to pull off an event like this. Because, okay, let's be honest, this is an event. It's not just a project. It's an event project. It's a three-day event. It's a virtual event, but it requires much of, the, much of the same planning, much of the same steps as pulling off a, a physical event in a, in a location. And you never know, we might have some of those someday. Maybe even this year, we'll see how the virtual summits are received and if people like them and if speakers want to do a, a actual live summit somewhere and there's a place and, and people are fired up for that, I am, I'm all for it. I love smaller, more intimate groups, settings and events. Um, this will be the first place that I admit this, but I'm not going to Funnel Hacking Live this year. I went last year and there were 3,000 people. I missed the first two because I'd never heard of it, but I went last year. It was awesome. It was a great event. Definitely the marketing event of the year. And if you've never been, I would highly recommend that you go. 
I'm not going this year for a couple of reasons. Personal reasons, I have made a commitment to help take care of my four-year-old granddaughter. So I'm going to be, or three, she's only three. I keep making her four. She's three, and I'm going to be watching her every day. So five days a week, I'll be watching her and building my businesses, which will add a whole new element to it, which is kind of fun because there's so many single moms or grandmas or caregivers or people that are not, I mean, doing an online business. They want to do an online business because... They have other responsibilities and they want to be able to fit it into their schedule so that they can work and, and add value to the world when it works for them, not for somebody else like a job. Sorry, I'm petting a dog. Um, so um, that's part of why I'm not going. Another reason I'm not going is I, I made a promise to myself that if, if something I had achieved or hadn't achieved happened, I would reward myself by going. Well, I didn't achieve that goal because sometimes we set really big goals don't achieve them. Imagine that. I tend to set really big goals for myself and interim goals along the way, but this was a really big goal and I didn't achieve it. I didn't put the pieces in place to make sure that it would be 100% achieved. I got close, but I didn't achieve it. So I said that I wouldn't get to go. So I wasn't going to break my word to myself and then go, even though I didn't get the goal because I didn't get the goal. So I'm not going to go. Uh, and other reasons too. I think the event is going to be awesome, but I understand how it works now. And that's what I, why I went in the first place. I don't need to go repeatedly because they're not my, I mean, they're my people, but they're not my people. It's not what I'm doing online. And this was a big aha for me this year is creating my own life and my own business. So I'm not going to model anyone else a hundred percent. I'm going to create my own and I'm learning from a bunch of different people. And so Funnel Hacking Live is just one component and one thing and one event that I'm learning from. So as it's getting bigger and bigger, it's kind of like Grant Cardone's 10X thing. That's that's way too big for me. I have, I, and I love Grant Cardone. I love what he does. I think it's fascinating. I have no interest in going to an event with 30,000 people. I don't even want to go to an event with 5,000 people, which is what Funnel Hacking Live is going to be. And I think that's part of it it reminds me that most of us are very, very small and I don't want to go to events that make me feel small. I know that was just a really painful, true confession right there. I have got a dog staring me in the eyes, which means I have to let her out. So I'm going to cut it short today. Go out, make it an awesome day. I'll let you know what I end up doing today. Again, interviews, coaching clients, uh, <laughs> moving packing i gotta really hop on some mm. stuff i gotta get down to my son's room and start packing that up for him and make this move a reality because it is definitely way past time i moved on and decluttered my life and and things just like everything else so go out make it a fantastic day and i will of course be with you tomorrow